We are in Homestead National Park in Nebraska, and this was the first filed claim under the Homestead Act of 1863. His name was Daniel Freeman. The first thing he had to do was build a house. Not normally a log house, they might have built a sod house, but they had to put a house up. The next thing, they had to plow fields. And it was a real problem, because it's very dry out here. And they didn't have the irrigation system that we have nowadays. But for some of them, they picked good places with springs, running water, things that will help them to develop their land. The next thing was to have trees. And most of them planted trees around their buildings, but also fruit trees. That was a big help for their survival out in this land. As you can see, this would have been close quarters for a family. Particularly, I think, in the winter when you had the kids underfoot. Lincoln promised the settlers 180 acres if they would come out here and live. His horse greenly said, go west, young man. Well, some did. Now, what happened when they came west? Well, this land actually already belonged to the Native Americans. And the government changed yet another treaty. And most of them lost about 90% of their lands so that settlers could come out here. This is the reason Daniel Freeman's homestead was a success. He had water. And it was more than just a spring. So he was able to add crops each year and make his fields bigger and better because he had water available which some of the others did not.